Hello and welcome. What we have here is a, an amazing new kilt that came in, specifically a five yard wool kilt from USA Kilts. Five yard wool, 13 ounces. Um, let's go over it and see what we're working with here. All right, so paperwork first. Brand or manufacturer, USA Kilts and located right in the state of Pennsylvania, in the United States of America. That's their number, the email, and the website, usakilts.com. This kilt was made by Brendan, if I pronounce that right, made by Brendan and made for myself. Measurements are 35, 42.5, and 24. 35 meaning this kilt was made to fit above the belly button, which is called the true waist. And that was 35 inches at the time that I uh, ordered it in January. And now it's about 39 or 40 inches. I've been eating a lot, food is good. Um, so I'm gonna have to lose some weight in order to wear it. 42.5 inches means around the rear or around my hips. Basically the tape measure, I uh, just used the one that I got from the dollar store a clothing tape measure, put it around my waist and my hips, and uh, that's what I utilized. 42.5 inches around the hips, which means part of the tape will be going over my groin. So the widest part of my rear, 24 inches is from the top of the kilt, right, down to the bottom. And that ends at the middle of my knees. Let's see, tartan is Pennsylvania. This is a Pennsylvania tartan. Um, that's what the color scheme is, my home state. And it was completed March 16th. Ordered the middle of January, specifically, don't know when, but it was made in about eight weeks, which is pretty cool. Because it's a wool kilt, it's dry clean only, or I've heard stories that you can utilize wool light in a bathtub and dip it in, or soak it, let it dry. Uh, the basting stitch is not included in this kilt because it's a five yard, not an eight yard. And those would be stitches across the pleats. So nothing in there. A few more words about love of heritage and some personal words, um, which I looked up and I think it's pronounced Slanshiva, Slanshiva, which means cheers, greetings, a toast, which is awesome, you know, definitely. Cheers to this kill, this is my first real kill. Five yards of wool, 13 ounces, an official kilt that I could wear outside. Just look at the quality and wear outside and feel confident and content because this is on that uh, VIP level. It's not a waste of money. This is a uh, material that is supposed to last a lifetime. Um, Definitely, and I'm happy. Let's take a closer look at the kill inside. I can't fit it, so let's see what I can do to help out. Give you a full view. I ordered a USA Kills hanger, and it was about $9.99, and it has four tabs. And if you can see close, the inside is lined with some kind of uh, foam liner. I guess to uh, be less uh, harsh on the kill. But the quality right there of the kilt is on point. That is real stitching, real colors. It looks like a wonder of the world. Um, and all these clips in this premium hanger is definitely needed because this is heavy. You feel it. You just can't hold it in your hand like it's not there. We have leather buckles that feel and look real and it's embossed with a Celtic artwork and a USA Kilts emblem on the side so you never forget where it came from <laughs> nothing on here that says 13 ounce to my knowledge but um maybe you can just feel the difference if you're used to uh, filling a 16 ounce or heavier so this is 13 ounces double fringe small fringes but double and they look good 
Definitely looks exquisite and sophisticated and worth the over $300 that it is. So those are the colors specifically. I haven't found what exactly each color means, but the Pennsylvania license plate is blue and yellow. <laughs> or has those colors in it, and there you go. The state of independence, Pennsylvania. Um, or am I thinking of Philadelphia? Well, it's a Pennsylvania tartan, and Philadelphia is included. You know, you got the state of independence, one of the Philadelphia the largest cities in Pennsylvania. So that's why I bought it. It's not a Philadelphia kill, but it represents Philadelphia because it's a Pennsylvania tartan. So whether someone's Philadelphia or from Pittsburgh or from somewhere else, <laughs> this will do them well. Uh, let's take a look at the back. The back. It's looking marvelous. Let's see. So we have three straps. One's the hip strap, which comes through. Um, the opening is on is on the inside of the kill and I'll show that outside or later and then it just comes through and hooks onto the back as an attachment then you have two of the side straps one that looks in is in the same vicinity of the hip strap other one below it to secure it on the side and Celtic embossed artwork USA kill signal a nice buckle you can see um, or I can see we can see that the kilt is stitched great. I mean, uh, we have the belt loops right here. One and two. Those are the only belt loops on the kilt. And they're matching up exquisitely, perfectly. It's magic. Um, just lining up great. Making it look like some time, patience, and effort and love was put into the kilt. Not just thrown together. Um, so, we have... I'm an amateur in words, but let's just call it it's tapered. Or sewn in from the top down to around eight inches down that's sewn in and then the rest are pleats that you can lift up and so that's what we're working with a sewn down back so I guess it can be sturdy around the back end and then the pleats that the kilt is known for um, about 18 to 23 the website says let's do a count a basic count one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 pleats. And that's what we're looking at pleat wise. How many inches that is? I don't know, but it looks good. It looks marvelous. It looks exquisite. And uh, once I can fit this, I'll probably wear it once a week and then buy a semi traditional in the future and another Pennsylvania kilt but semi-traditional which means not made of wool made of poly viscose so that I can wear it more often and just throw it in the washing machine but this five yard wool I'm gonna have to wear it and then take it to the cleaners maybe get the wool light method the wool light and bathtub because I don't want the cleaners to mess up the straps um, so I'll ask the cleaners what they're capable of what the process is with leather and see what the best option is for me. Alright, so that's uh, the basics I think I went over. Right? So the measurements, the quality, I showed the front, I showed what the pleats are looking like, I showed the colors. This is quality right here. Um, let's see if we can get a good look on the inside though. Let's see what we're working with. All right, we're back at it, and we're going to take a look at the inside of this kilt, the Pennsylvania Tartan. It just looks marvelous. All right, so our leather straps, let's take a look at them again. Let's see what they look like on the back end. See, we have the holes there for the pin, uh, the belt pin to go through. It looks, looks like a a good amount of weight adjustment, maybe up to 38 inches, I'm guessing, but I'm at 40 right now. So all in due time, I'll fit. Nice lining, which, uh, I don't know the, the feel of this, um, 
but it feels good. It feels like quality stuff. USA Kills Emblem with the website that says dry clean only. Um, steam iron, medium heat. And that lining goes all the way across. And we're gonna do a close look too of some of these holes. This hole right here is what the kilt belt for the hip goes through. So that goes through around your waist and I would attach it through this hole so that it'll come out the other end, right? And pull out and then you see the artistic artwork there and then it'll strap in. And that's how I would strap one side and pull over the other ones around, right? To strap onto this side. Easy enough, it's a work. It's a method to the madness, it's procedures, but once it's on, it will look marvelous and I'll upload a video in the future with it on. It'll be my first kilt worn above the belly button at the true waist and I'm looking forward to it. And these are the pleats on the inside, right? Looking marvelous again from top to bottom. I tried it on the best I could and it does fall at my knees. I mean, it fits good. It just, I need to lose some weight around the waist in order for it to fit. So let's take this outside and see if the colors pop. We can get a close up on a quality of why a kill would cost 300 plus dollars because Um, I mean, as you can see already with what I've given you, it's worth it. I mean, this is quality right here. Doesn't look like a toy, doesn't look like a uniform for school. I mean, you can't mix this up. The only people that can give you <clears throat> negative comments is people that don't know about the kill. But hey, people in the past with wars, skirt-like garments, Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, Greeks with the tunics and the robes, Romans with the tunics and the robes and the gladiators, all these different movies. Egyptians with the shindite, I believe it's called. A shindite, that skirt-like garment. And then, Scottish has given us the kilt, which anyone can wear. An asterisk mark, you gotta wear what you're affiliated with. That's a good rule of thumb. And I'm affiliated with Pennsylvania. I'm affiliated with the Marines and the Air Force and affiliated with uh, some universal tartans that anyone can wear representing Hollywood. Um, or Tartan called Hollywood, representing uh, Queen Elizabeth and her anniversary as Queen. Some uh, other ones, like the uh, Royal Stort or the Stort Royal. Uh, different bands out there like Albanock. Look up Albanock. I might even include that in the video, a clip of uh, their Tartan, also on usakills.com. And that's a universal kilt anyone can wear. If you listen to their music, you definitely would want to buy a kilt. So, I'm from Pennsylvania. I have this kilt. It's official. It's five yards. It's wool. It's 13 ounces. And it is on point. <laughs> Looking forward to buying more and wearing it. And attaching my sporing to it. Um, which I got with a leather strap. I'm going to show you some stuff now. That's the sporing. And this isn't really showing you much because it's not on, but I have a leather strap. So this leather strap would actually wrap around the belt loops in the back. These two, remember? Seeing them? And then it'll wrap around the belt loops in the back, right? So it can be held. And then this sporing would droop around the front Maybe about four or five, six inches hanging down from the top. And I could wear it with a collar shirt and a sweater and just look at it. Great. Look at that. Boom. Semper Fidelis, Latin phrase, always faithful, the suede inside. I already did a review on this, but you're getting a double of what I'm going to put it with and just look official. And I can, uh, this can be dressed up or dress down. This sporn is a day sporn, not too fancy. All right, usakills.com, another form of quality. And I didn't even want to show that. <laughs> so let's take this outside and let's really get to work with these colors. 
hope you enjoy all right so we're outside we're gonna get a good look at the view of this kilt i was hoping for some sunlight so it can truly shine but um the sun's not out right now it's a cloudy day so we'll have to just deal with what we have going on here so up close let's see what we have as we went over before the celtic artwork all right looking exquisite maybe not as visible outside but you can definitely tell that this kill it isn't playing around um definitely not got an up close view of hanger and this is official outside is really doing it justice and you can tell that this is quality just going all the way down the end of it you can see the pattern all right all the way to the fell it's just a good looking kill like you can i can already tell i spent 330 plus dollars on this and um i can already tell that it's worth every bit of money that's a good view of the uh the double fringe going on there every kilt that i have i would want to have some type of fringe on there and um you know this is a highland game <laughs> So this is definitely all coming together well and I always like to take a, uh, a picture of the back pleats all right because pleats can either make or break a kill again the leather buckle all right and I just put this all the way through this one strap that's on the hip to the first buck uh, first one it probably will not fit me even on the last one. Um, as you can tell, as we went over before, the quality and the arrangement of the lines, those yellow lines and the blue just matching up perfect. Uh, what else do we have going on that we missed inside? That's about it, just a deeper view. We have from the top of the kilt, sewn down about eight inches. From the top of the kilt, sewn down, alright, and then the rest are just open pleats. Alright, beautiful tartan for Pennsylvania, and I have many more to go. I'm going to buy Albanac, going to buy a Florida, going to buy a Hawaii, a California. USA Kilts even has exclusive kilts specifically for their company um, called State Tartan Kilts. So this is a Pennsylvania tartan, but we actually have a State Tartan Kilt, which goes on the colors of the state, uh, the state emblem or the state flag. One of those got to be the state flag. Yeah. And then they take the colors from there and make their own kilt color screen kilt or tartan color scheme so i can have two kills to represent in pennsylvania one for the actual state and one for the state seal yeah that's what i meant the state seal and each state seal means something it has some history um you know words like integrity valor independence you know imagine what the state seal for hawaii means or represents or california or florida Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Be a good city to represent the state of Pennsylvania. Definitely. So there you go. If you want to buy a five yard wool kilt from USA Kills, this is a close up view of what you're going to get just kilt wise. Um, couldn't ask for a better five yard 13 ounce kilt because we're already VIP status with this one already nothing but compliments you know from the people who know about the kills and if they don't know about it well 
guess all in due time, Thomas Paine, a famous author from the uh, early America, who wrote Common Sense, and his pamphlet said, uh, time makes more converts than reason, right? <laughs> and that's so true. So true. Alright, it's been a pleasure. Hope this review was enjoyable and really gave you an inside look on what the kilt, the five yard wool kilt from USA Kilt will look like. From USA Kilts will look like. Um, and you can tell that for the money, you're getting everything that you could possibly ask for within a five yard. You know? I mean, what else is there? You got fringes, you got the two belt loops on the back to hold a sporin or kill belt. You got these fancy belt buckles. You have a kilt hanger that can come with it that looks official. Right? Everything that you buy will last a lifetime. This $300 won't go down the drain. I mean, unless, unless you gain weight. And they have a kilt for that that goes up multiple sizes. Um, so look it up. Give them a call. See what they can do that works for you. This will work for me. I will be doing some push-ups, eating some fruits and vegetables. Because I'm going to be wearing this. <laughs> Best believe that. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for listening. Um, looking forward to the next video. Sharon is Karen. Peace.